Hey folks, I'm Alex Bazanson. And I'm Tim Schaefer, we're the Pizza Boys. We're here at Tin Race in Brockton tonight, and I'm really excited for this one, Alex, because this is one of your favorite places, and I've never been. It is one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite top three pizza places on the South Shore. You're gonna love it. Let's, Let's go get it. Let's go see if it looks So we're here with Joe Murray, the owner of Tin Rays. Joe, how long have you been here? How did you get started? Tell this, us a little history. Okay, this is my 24th year. I think it's 24. Uh, started here in 1996, and I've been here ever since. Uh, we made it into a family business, you know, with the high cheers that helped. Yeah. Never thought I was going to high cheers <laughs> instead of pool tables, yeah. but it was a relief. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I'd rather have babies crying than people arguing over a pool game. Were you in this business before you? No, no, no it was just something that I thought I'd give it a shot. Give it a shot. Well, you've done a lot for a lot of people in Brockton. Um, you know, I've been here several times. This is Tim's first time here. But I know I've been to a lot of political events here, a lot of police and fire events here. You had a lot of support from them. You support them also. Yep. So what, what have you done um, during COVID? Well, um, a gentleman approached me. His name's Steve Dunn. Yeah. He, uh, his mother was an emergency room nurse who passed on. So we wanted to do something, you know, on behalf of her. So we did like a thousand pizzas wow. during, during COVID to the police. Shifts, different shifts, fire department, a couple of different shifts. The emergency room nurses uh, at all the hospitals, the nursing homes. Um, one of the homeless shelters we did also for women. And... Uh, also, the EMT workers, too. All the public safety people, who, you know, were going through a tough time during what's going on. So it was, it was nice. It was a good feeling doing it. And he's the point guy that, you know, he's the one who pushed it. So I want to make sure I give him, you know, all the credit that's due. And you stayed open through the whole thing for uh, takeout and yep. everything? Yep. Yep. The whole time we stayed open. Yeah. So I've been here a couple of times during the pandemic. Yeah. I appreciate your support. Everybody that... Everybody that ordered us to keep the bills and I, and I know uh, I recognize a lot of your employees here that have been here forever yep. 20 years 20 years on the average yep. Yeah. Yep. 20 years on the average you know I don't, we work together yep. they don't work for me we work together so yeah, right. you know it is what it is so uh, I think we'll go in the kitchen I'm really anxious for Tim to taste this pizza because Tim like me uh, we're, we're it. really into bar pizza you know we like all pizza but Yep. You Bob, came to the right place. I'm, I'm thankful you came here. All right. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen and see what it's up. Thanks for coming in. All right. Hi there. How are you? Good. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah? I'm Alex. This is Tim. We're the Pizza Boys. Hi. Glad to meet you. Jeff's been here about 10 years. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, we're in the kitchen now with Jeff as he prepares to make some uh, pizzas for us here. Jeff, how long have you been working here? Uh, probably eight to ten years. Eight to ten years, that's a long time making pizzas. How many pizzas do you think you've made total in those years? Uh, thousands. <laughs> thousands of pizzas. All right, so it looks good. That dough looks great. How often do you make your dough? I make dough freshly, daily. Daily, every Fresh day you daily. make it. Now that, that sauce is going right up to the edge there. It's going to give it a nice black lace on it. Oh, uh, yes. Got all, our pizzas are all waste. Nice, I like that. That's very popular these days. What do you guys use for a cheese? Uh, cheddar. All, all white cheddar all or white, is it a blend? All white straight cheddar. That's a that's an authentic Celsius bar pizza right there when it's all white cheddar. A lot of places try to throw out that impasta mix. So Joe, how did you come up with this recipe? Well, a lot of experimenting. A lot of experiment. It took us about a year to get it right. So it's your own recipe. Yes. Yeah, great. Um, you know, all the pizzas, believe it or not, in the area are, sim are sort of similar they in are. some ways. Yeah. And uh, it, there's a lot more to making a pizza than people think. Really? I mean, the way you pan it, yeah. sauce it, cheese it, 
you got to stay with it. I call it stay with it like a ground ball because if you shut the oven, it could get a bubble. Yeah. You know, you got to make sure there's no bubbles in it and it cooks right across you know, the whole pizza because sometimes, you know, you might have an air pocket underneath and it could blow up like a cake in the oven, you know, so you got to stay with it. So how what are your ovens? Our ovens are 550 degrees. They're old school blodget ovens. Yeah. And uh, I, they got to be at least 60 years old, these ovens. So um, I'd probably say they're probably the oldest ovens in the city. Sure. They were here when you... No, oh, no, we lifted them in here, really? believe it or not. Uh, it was very scary bringing them in here, believe me when I tell you. There was like six of us lifting one on top of the other. So what was here? You bought a bar? I bought a bar. It uh, had no windows in it, no lights. So we just started cleaning out, cleaning house when we came in here and did one room at a time. And here we are almost 25 years later. Great. Um, yeah, a lot of blood and sweat went into this place, you know. Um, but anybody who owns one of these places is a hard worker. Uh, there's no getting around it today. So what else Heads do you up serve? Tip. You, don't, uh, you don't just serve pizza. No, well, we serve steak tips, appetizers, salads, soups, burgers, chicken sandwiches. We have a full menu. We have daily specials. What are some of your daily specials? Yeah, uh, right. Daily special, sometimes we have a meatloaf, sometimes we have chicken, open face chicken sandwiches, hot turkey sandwiches, um, we have uh, breaded shrimp cock with cocktail sauce. That's, you know, that's what's been going on this week. Great. Yeah, I heard a rumor that that shrimp, uh, that shrimp may find its way to our table tonight. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah it's right. <laughs> looking, that down right now. Yeah, looking go, forward to that. We go through a lot of them. Yeah. Hey, so what'd you guys get tonight? What'd you order? Oh, pepper and onion pizza. Pepper and onion, all right. Yeah, really good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Now, are you guys regulars here? Or? Yeah. yeah. Uh, every yeah. Wednesday. Every how Wednesday. Long, how long have you been doing that? Oh, six or eight years. Yeah. Why every Wednesday? So it's... Just because? It's uh, traditional. We do it. We really like to come here. We do the waiting. Yeah. Yeah, we do the wings on Wednesday, and then you know, look at the specials and what, whatever the girls like. We have the special, but uh, I usually do uh, the pepperoni pizza or the uh, pepper and onions and the wings. So we're back with the former treasurer, treasurer collector, former, and a temporary town manager at one point. Oh, that's true. In the town of that's Abington. True. Yep. Yep. And. Um, and my wife, Claire. Yeah. Don't forget my Claire. Wife. She's the backbone. <laughs> That's right. And um, you've been coming here forever, too, are you? I've been coming here for probably more than 15 years. Really? My wife worked uh, nights at Brookville Dental, and uh, I was left to cook for myself, so I wandered into Tin Rays more than 15 years ago, and I haven't stopped coming yeah. here. What do you think of the pizza? I think it's great. Yeah. Great. One of your favorites? One of my favorites. Yeah. I, I can't pick a specific favorite, but I come here more than any other place. Yeah, this is uh, my third time this month. So what do you guys, what's your favorite pizza here? I usually go with the hamburger. Hamburger. I usually go with the chicken palm. Chicken palm pizza? Really? Yeah. You should have tried that, Tim. Oh, I was thinking about it. My wife actually texted me earlier. So too. maybe you bring one home? Yeah, better get one to go home. Oh, yeah. 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 Great. Oh, too bad. Oh, there we go. Hi, how are you? Jamie. Where are you going, Rhonda? Just say Jamie. Awesome. Per I'm smiling. All right. You good? Need anything else? All right. Think we're good. All right. Take your time. Thanks, dude. It already looks good. No, thank you. Yeah. Stop moving the camera. Start talking. All right. Okay. You can stop. All right. Here we are. Did I tell you it was good? <laughs> the moment of truth. It, if it's as good as it looks, it's going to be top three. Seems to be the theme of the it night. Definitely looks good, doesn't it? It does. I like the edges. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Some places when they lace, it, it, I think it's a little too much, and it loses the integrity of the crust and it falls yeah. off. 
This looks perfect. Nice little char on the outside. I'm I'm really excited. All right, which one are you going to have? We have the cheese. We have meatball, which is the, the big seller here. And then, of course, we always have to have a couple of them. He did say meatball was a specialty. I'm going to start with the cheese since I'm going to have their pizza. All right. And that's how, I, that's how we try to this. this All right, I'll go with that, too, for the first one. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm a stickler on? It stands right up. Yeah, absolutely, it does. Perfect. Shorts the undercarriage. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice little, nice little brown on there. You know, perfectly cooked crust, not too dark, not too light. Stands up good. Looks good. From Castle Island. Excellent. Excellent. The dough is great. The sauce isn't overpowering. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, of course, the white cheddar. All white cheddar. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Definitely up there. One of the best in the South Shore. Yes, we Absolutely, yeah. I feel like I've missed out the last 20 years not coming in here. <laughs> And for Joe to come up with this, this recipe on his own, not being in the business, I mean, it's fantastic. No, yeah. But I, mean, but that, I think that's what's good about it. It's, it's not trying too hot. You know what I mean? It's, it's simple, it's perfect, it's good. Very good. Excellent. And now let's try this pepperoni. Piped and hot. Pizza has to be hot. Or it's no good. Cold pizza has its time, but that's usually early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that right? Fantastic. It's fantastic. It's... How often do you eat pizza? Sometimes I don't have a pizza for the longest time. I don't even realize. I don't even realize. I don't even realize um, that I haven't had one. Right. Yeah. And then when I do have one, I'm like, wow. I miss that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, when you're in this business, you really don't sit around and eat. Uh, you could cook in the kitchen all day long and forget to eat yourself. That's how it is. It's nuts. I'll, I'll go home after being in the kitchen for 12 hours and, and, sit, up and, and say, I didn't eat a thing I all, day. all day. Yeah. That's how it is. It's crazy. You walk there? I remember working no. in kitchens, no. and that, that's always the way. You're never hungry when you're making the food. And then, then you get home, and about an hour after you get home, you're like, yeah, exactly. And then you have no food in the house. <laughs> you're around it all day. You didn't eat. This is great. Yeah, pepperoni is really good. So, try the meatball. See if that lives up to it. That's what that's what he said was his his uh his big seller. So, I do like a meatball pizza. So. We'll see. I like the way he took the meatballs in a bowl, crust it up with the Parmesan cheese, yeah. and then sprinkle them all over. The extra little touches that make it. That's something you don't realize unless you're back there while they're making them, you know. Exactly. You think they just, you know, then take a meatball and throw it on. It's a little more than that. Those meatballs are excellent. <laughs> yeah. So if you haven't been to Tim Ray's, you got to get down here and try it. Definitely come try it out. Nice family place too. Bring the family. Bring the family. A lot of places to sit, eat, enjoy your meal.
So what do you think, Tim? I think it goes without saying, but definitely Pizza Boy approved. Absolutely. Two thumbs up on the Pizza Boy. No doubt about that. Thank you. We'll see you soon.